Okay. Um, so to to save time, I I put uh, I scan the notes, uh, but I can still write. So uh, that can be a little bit fast, right? Because if I write uh, all the materials uh, from the scratch, then we we'll, uh, lose a lot of time. Uh, so from from this lecture, I start a discussion on brown emotion. Uh, so this is a very important field, uh, important object in probability and also in, I mean, it's uh, everywhere. And so if you're studying stock market or studying uh, uh, statistical physics, right, this is a basic object. Um, so so this is called the uh, Brown emotion, uh, but uh, some people call it Wiener process. Um, so Brown, Brown just observed this phenomenon. So he's uh, so, so he observed this like uh, much earlier in in nineteenth century. So the pollen grains, uh, if you put uh, some pollen uh, in 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 a water, so th those uh, particles will move like randomly. Uh, so perform a continuous swarming motion, and uh, it's very highly uh, irregular motion. You can you can see some videos on YouTube. But really, uh, to make this uh, popular, so really due to Albert Einstein, right, the very famous Einstein, so in 19, uh, 1905. Uh, but okay, later people realized, right, so this is a French uh, mathematician. So he used uh, Brown emotion uh, or heat equation, right, derive uh, the heat equation from uh, Brown emotion from scalar I will talk about a little bit more later. Uh, but th this is find uh, later, right? So, so this guy basically uh, did this work uh, earlier than uh, Albert Einstein. But people don't know this. So actually, uh, Einstein works are very uh, so make the Brown motion very popular. But later, people find uh, uh, basically at work. Okay. So Wiener, like starting nineteen twenties, uh, he he did some mathematical work to to make uh, all those discussion rigorous. Okay. So in this lecture, um, I will basically talk about uh, the mathematical construction, um, not uh, fully rigorous, uh, but uh, it's already very technical. So on the existence of Brown emotions. Right? So Brown emotion is, uh, I will give a definition later. So Brown emotion, you will be right uh, as WT. So it's indexed, indexed by, uh, by T. So T from uh, zero to infinite. So this is the first type uh, continuous in time stochastic process uh, we have studied. So we didn't study uh, this before. So when we're talking about Poisson process, you can there's, you can index the Poisson process this continuous time, but you can also change them to uh, to to n equals to one two right integers. Okay, but here is really a continuous in time stochastic process. It's a basic object of uh, uh, continuous type uh, stochastic process. So we talk about a little bit of properties. Uh, in this lecture, mainly about the holder continuity. So, so Brown emotion, so um, for Brown emotion, we, we know, right, we want to prove later. So almost uh, surely omega for almost the three. Uh, so B, T, right, if you fix omega, this is a pass, uh, this is a pass, uh, sometimes we write it as omega t uh, as a path, so t is from zero to infinite. So this is uh, just a trajectory. So for almost truly omega, so this omega t, so actually is uh, is holder, but the holder constant uh, is uh, is less than one half. So it's a uh, uh, is it's not a one half, but uh, for any any constant, any alpha less than one half is a holder. Okay, we will talk about this. Uh, so let, let's first give you like a formal definition, right? So it, it, otherwise, it, so you feel not uh, certain. So I'll give you a formal definition first on the Brown emotion. So Brown emotion, what is Brown emotion? Right? So, so in the remaining of this uh, class, most of the time we focus on 1D, 
when the case. So for multi D, right? So you just put uh, several copies of BT, right? So for multi D, so you just uh, consider several copies. Uh, let's write it here. So let's focus on one D for multi D, multi dimension. So you can put uh, like BT1, uh, T2, right? And BTD, and it just require all those are independent. So T bigger than zero. Okay. And uh, so then that's it. It's, a, it's not a very hard to do the generalization. But uh, there are other properties, not uh, uh, the, the other things make the multi D motion hard to study, but uh, not uh, from the definition of the basic uh, side, right? So maybe from the geometry side, it makes the multi-dimensional brown motion more difficult to study. Um, but uh, for for this, for the remaining of this lecture, uh, this class, mostly we focus on one D brown motion. Okay. For for one D brown motion, what, what is that, right? And uh, so there are three properties, right? First, uh, so let's say if we we we. We look at, if we just uh, look at, right, this is a continuous time. So we cannot really study uh, continuous time, right? So we do some, we just uh, take some time uh, slice, right? Some, dis some finite time slice. So there's a T1, T2, uh, Tn minus one, Tn, right? So what, what do we say, right? So, so if uh, those time slice, right? So this uh, this uh, random variable, right? Fixed t zero, the right, bt zero is a random variable, right? This is a random variable, and uh, the increment, right? These are also random variable, so we take uh, all those increment. So the increment are independent. Right? This is the first property. So we have incre independent increments, right? So from so if the time uh, intervals, right? T zero, t one, t one, t two are disjoint. So then the increment are independent. So this is the first uh, property right, in the definition. So the second property says uh, the increment uh, is a uh, Gaussian. Uh, it's my, uh, so it's not uh, just uh, any increment or any random variable, it's a very particular random variable, it's Gaussian. So if we take the time, uh, so we, we go from uh, time s to time s plus t, so then this increment, right, this increment is actually a, a normal distribution, uh, center zero, uh, with mean zero and variance t. Right? So in particular, we can write the density function, right? So this is just the density function, just the density function. Right? So the increment is Gaussian, the second property. Uh, the third property is a uh, continuity property. Uh, so actually this is very hard to, to justify, right? There are a lot of discussion uh, later. So it's probably one, uh, but it's very easy to understand, right? So you fix your omega, if you fix your omega, what does this mean, right? This means uh, if you fix a trajectory and you let the time vary, right? You let the time vary, so, so then this is a path, right? So a, a path or a trajectory. So basically it says for almost every trajectory, almost uh, surely almost uh, all trajectory, so it's continued. So we don't want, uh, we want to dis disregard those, uh, we want to discard those uh, like uh, discontinuous trajectories, right? Um, so, so those three properties, right? Those three A, B, C, right? Defines Brownian motion. Uh, later, we will do constructions, right? As what we similar to what we did uh, in Markov chain, the existence of Brownian motion. It's uh, not easy, right? You must, uh, if you you must uh, book it, probably just uh, skip that. Uh, but uh, uh, given time, we will do that. Right? Uh, and at least a sketch of the main steps. Okay. Uh, so Brownian motion. Actually, you can think brown motion as a scale limit of random works. Brown motion is the kind of infinitesimal, both in space and in time, random work, a simple 
brain and work uh, just in one leap. Uh, so, so I'll give you a derivation. I'll give you two derivations, one from brain and work and one from uh, the original work uh, by, by this guy. So this is a French mathematician, Bachelier. So Einstein, in Einstein's 1905 paper, right, there also a, a derivation uh, of the heat equation right, from, uh, from some first principle. Right? Uh, if you look at the Einstein's paper, it's to understand. Uh, so, yeah. So, but we will talk about uh, a little bit about the discussion derivation of uh, Brownian motion right, from uh, random work or just from uh, uh, some into point of view uh, due to uh, bachelier. Okay, it is just uh, go, go to them path. Right? So this is uh, bachelier's original work on brown motion. Uh, it is very simple. You will see that in a minute, right? Uh, so as I, to as I told you, right, to have a brown motion, so let's say E is a brown motion, but this is uh, probably you don't know this well, but uh, uh, it's not uh, very hard to understand uh, later, right, if you know. So this is a brown motion. So if you look at the density function, if you look at the density function of a, uh, so let's density of the law distribution of a density function, PDF. Look at PTX, right, is the PDF of uh, BT, so and the time t, right, fixed time. You fix time, right? This is a this is a random variable, right? So this random variable has a density function because this density function ptx. Uh, so I, I just told you, right, but without any justification now. So actually, so those density function so satisfy the heat equation, right? Now it's in one D. So the heat equation is x squared. PTX. Uh, this is a usual convention in, in probability uh, literature, one half. So if you put this in multi D, right, uh, uh, the following, the following notation is more widely used right, in PD. So uh, this is a usual way to write a heat equation. So Laplace plus f we just uh, you take a uh, partial partial x i second order derivative right is laplacian operator from one to dimension d uh, here right we just focus on one d case right so there's only one uh there's only one operator there's only one uh space variable x right so this uh, this is a heat equation so brown motion, if you look at the law, right? If you, if you look at the evolution of the law, it's just a heat equation. Right? So brown motion uh, corresponds to heat uh, diffusion. If you think as the stock stock market, right? The price of stock market as diffusion process, right? This makes a big sense, right? But uh, not necessarily heat diffusion, right? Like uh, just brown motion, maybe. Uh, you should add other terms, right? The drift terms, and uh, there are also other terms. Motion, right? So this is the easiest uh, setting. Okay, but uh, actually, this uh, the following discussion is very interesting. So then I talk us a little bit about that. This is basically as work on brown motion. Uh, we're starting from uh, random work uh, in one D. So let's uh, let's think of random work as right? so zero, right? So if you just uh, the usual way we study the simple random work in one D is the, like the following, right? But now, right? So we know motion is like continuous, right? Uh, type uh, process. You cannot just uh, like go from zero to one, right? You cannot jump. So how to connecting this, right? So instead of consider one right integer values right we put uh, all this as uh, as delta x right so one is uh, delta x two is two times delta x right this is minus delta x so we kind of discretize uh, space and uh, time so so we discretize uh, space and time 
So space is uh, divided by like this is a quantum of space, and uh, this is a quantum of the time. So and uh, so and time delta t right. So you move to the right with probability one half, and you move to the right with probability one half. Right? So, so like you, you can think delta t is uh, like one second, and delta x is like one meters right or one foot so, well, something. Right? Okay, so we can assume right, we can assume. Right, so this is just assumption. Right? We, let's assume. Uh, all the green in the space is given by those sequence, right? Those sequence, and uh, the 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 length between two uh, green two 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 points is just a delta x, right? So just like uh, what I'm drawing here. So we can assume and time t, right? And time t, uh, the points has infinitesimal probability, right? So this is a mass. So this is a mass and uh, and n and n delta x. So this is a mass and uh, n plus one delta x, and uh, this and time t. Right? So you can think time t as n time delta t. Okay. Um, so the question is right, how to find the probability and uh, next time, and t plus n plus delta t. Right? Uh, the idea. Okay, let's just write all the all the mass, all the mass and uh, infinitesimal mass and uh, uh, place n and time t plus n uh, delta t. Right? So it's just uh, the setting. Right? We kind of uh, discretize uh, the space and time. And uh, so each particle can only move delta x length. Uh, so in each delta t time. So the, yeah, so it's very easy to derive that, right? So, so let's uh, let, so let's just look and uh, so it's kind of what we did for the death and chain, uh, birth and death chain. So this is x n, right? This is uh, x n plus one. So we want to look at the total mass change uh, in this part, and also in this part, right? Yeah, let's just. So, so what mass change, right? So the mass, right? So here we have certain mass, right? Here we have certain mass. So with probability one half, right? So give one half mass and point x n to x n plus one. Right? So this is a mass you lose, right? In this part, this part. So we write and something like this is the density function. We kind of write the mass. In this part, right, but we can concentrate on the xn, right? So as ptx times delta x, it is very uh, hand waving, so it's a physical way to derive uh, formulas. So pn x plus one, right, is just uh, uh, the mass and the point xn plus one, right? So n times t, right? So you can also write that this is the density function times uh, this part, right? Times this part. Okay. So what is the change or mass, right, from time t, from time t to time t plus delta t, right? So I can tell you, right, it's just this. It's just this. Why, right, because with probability one half, right, so this goes to the right, uh, left, right? So this is a amount of mass goes to the right, right? So this is the total mass gain uh, in this part, right, in this part. So, so we can just write uh, everything, right? We can just write everything. Okay. So, so the total mass change, right? We can write uh, as a, so this is a mass uh, in this part and time t, t, uh, t plus t, and we take the difference, right? Take the difference. The difference is just uh, given by the transition of uh, the probability, right? Transition of probability. And uh, if we pass to the limit, uh, we get the following, right? We, we integrate, right? We, we write uh, the total mass, right? Total mass, we can write as an integral, right? From zero minus uh, infinity to x, right? You can just think this is x, right? This is x. Okay, so we can, we can pass to the limit, right? So, but uh, we should choose this scaling, right? This part, right? This part, uh, we can write this as a derivative or partial x, right? But there's a discrepancy. Delta x comes out. Right? 
this is p prime times delta x. And there's another delta x, right? So we have delta x squared. So in order to pass through limit, you should choose, right? So this is the time difference, right? So we want to pass this to, um, to, the, to the derivative, right? So there's a t, right, divided by delta t, right? So in order to put everything in right order, right, we should choose something like this. We should choose delta t uh, over delta x squared is in is d, is d. Okay, so here we just choose d to be one. Right? Uh, so then we send delta t or delta x goes to uh, and delta t goes to zero, right? So and at the same time, uh, delta x also goes to zero. So in this way, right? Uh, we recover we recover the heat equation, right? Why, right? So here is just a minus infinity, right? To x, this is partial t, one half of partial x, p t x, right? So then you just take derivative with respect to x, right? So then this side you get p t x, right? This side you take derivative again, right? Partial x squared p t x. Um, so let, let yeah, so that that's that, that's it. Uh, right, it's, it's a, the, the only thing we yield right, is just uh, this graph, it's just this graph, just this graph. The total mass change, right, total mass change in this part, right, it can be given by right one half, one half, uh, one half p n plus one t, right, minus one half p, p n t. So it's just like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so even if you didn't understand, if you go through the notes, uh, I, I'm, I'm sure you will understand, right? It's like physical way, right? The physicists are doing things a lot like this. They're using some infinitesimal, right? using this uh, data x, using this type of data x. Uh, delta t, right? So it's very, uh, so in this way, right, it's very easy to add the scaling. Um, so for instance, right, why in the end, uh, why in the end we should choose delta x uh, is the order of delta x squared, right? So this is called the uh, hyperbolic, uh, hyperbolic scaling. Uh, it's very important, right? So t, right, t, uh, t x like x squared. So the space variable, so x like uh, square root of time. Right? So it's called uh, hyperbolic scaling. Okay, so this is one way uh, to, to, to write the heat equation. Right? Uh, so here, here I, I don't want to say more, right? So this, so this is a heat equation, we just, uh, we just have, right? Heat equation. Oh, we can write uh, th this velocity direction as uh, you can rewrite this heat equation and the following. Right? Uh, so, so this velocity, or this velocity actually just given by uh, minus half uh, the, the score function given by P. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, I, I just stop here, right? Uh, and uh, give you another maybe more, uh, more friendly way, right, to, to derive uh, uh, stochastic uh, uh, brownian motion right, starting from uh, random walk. Right? This is the maybe more friendly, more friendly way. Uh, maybe this is friendly, right? Because we use just uh, use uh, limit theory. Right? So here we just use central limit theory. Okay. So how to how to see that, right? So again, we discret, uh, discretize uh, space and uh, we discretize time. Okay. So um, let's, uh, let's, let's think about the usual random walk, right? So SN is a usual random walk, a simple random walk uh, in 1D. So you move to the right, you move to the left with equal probability one half, with equal probability one half. So easy to check, right? So the mean is zero and variance is one. So now uh, let's set a t right, equals to n delta t. Right? In the end, we would send delta t and n goes to infinity. Uh, uh, we, we fix t, right? t is positive or any number. 
So delta t, uh, we, 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 we want the same t goes to zero, but uh, n times delta t is fixed. Okay. So how to do that, right? So now uh, it, uh, x t is based uh, space uh, location, uh, location and time t is delta x time s. Right? Delta x is the, the space, uh, the space quantum, right? Quantum. So then now, right, so we can check, right, and check, uh, so xt is just this, just by commutation, right, a little bit commutation, right, so you can cancel this, right, and for this part, we can use in limit theory, right, we can use in central limit theory, right, because we can work through some, this will be Gaussian, right, um, so, uh, so now, so we should choose the same scaling as well. We should choose delta x, use this scaling, delta t equals to delta x squared. Uh, so we can write x t, right, the, the time, the space location time t, right, so equals to this. So then we say an n goes to infinity, right? So this part will converge to, um, this part will converge to a normal distribution and this part you can watch to uh, square root t, right? So x t bigger than a less than b is just given by this, just given by this, and then it's large. So by saying linear theory, right? So this is easier setting, right? So just a Laplace uh, the more, uh, the more, the more a. Um, so we can we can just cover this. We can just cover this. Right? Is the uh, density function of motion. Right? So this x t is just uh, our brown motion d t, right? And uh, this really gives the law, right? This really gives you the law, right? d t, uh, which is just x t, which is by the normal distribution, which is just set by normal distribution zero t. I should write uh, in the lower part. So B, so X T here, right, just uh, satisfy normal distribution, uh, mean zero and the variance T. Right. So this is a uh, to see. Right? So Brownian motion is nothing. Right? It's just uh, if we scale the space and time in the right uh, scale, in the right uh, scale, so which is this scale, this is always true. Uh, it's called a uh, hyperbolic scaling, right? So space and time is not uh, behave the same way, right? Um, so the scaling will right, just appear in the same theory, appear in the central limit theory. So if then, so if you, you say n goes to infinity, we can recover a uh, brown motion. We can recover brown motion, okay. Okay, so, so before I think about properties, uh, I, I've let you just, uh, let, let me just go through once uh, the definition, right, in case you already lived. So this is brown motion. So brown motion, so means what, right? So, 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 so almost surely, right, you have a continuous path. Also, right, so you have independent increments and uh, the, in uh, the independent, the increments. So you have independent increments and also the increments are Gaussian. Right? Increments are Gaussian. Okay. So uh, for a uh, path or uh, trajectory, right, so it's continuous. Typical trajectory, so typical trajectory is continuous, right? Then so, um, so let's see uh, several properties of brown motion, properties of brown motion. Uh, so any questions? Okay, even now, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, move on. So first we have a transition variance. Uh, this makes sense. Uh, I don't, I won't talk about the proof. Uh, you can read the proof. Uh, it's again, right, it's proved by uh, Dinkins pi lambda theory. So basically you want to show independent, uh, you can only first show for several uh, generating several sets or events, 
uh, which generating the whole uh, field. Uh, but uh, the conclusion is very to understand, right? So this is a new, so this is a new process. So Bt it, it minus B0 can be brain variable, but we don't know. So if you take the difference, and of course, right, this is independent of B0. And uh, also, if you look at the distribution, if you look at a distribution, so Bt minus B0, right, this is a new, new brown emotion. And in distribution sense, actually this equals to Bt tilde, uh, T bigger than zero. So, so Bt tilde is also a brown emotion and it is starting from zero. It's starting from zero. Okay, so in distribution sense it's the same, right? So, so it's called translation invariance. Uh, of course, it means translation happens in time. Uh, so later, is, uh, we have translation invariance, so we can, without uh, generality, right, we just assume B0 equals to X. Or you can just assume B0 equals to zero, right? We can just starting from zero. So this is a U assumption for one motion, right? We're starting from zero, right? Uh, so then we, we, yeah. Okay. Uh, second is scaling relation. Well, this is, uh, uh, you probably already, yeah, the, the, the scaling relation agree with the previous scaling. So this agree with the previous scaling we choose uh, in the derivation, in the derivation. So let's set B0 equals to zero, right? Initially we're starting from zero. So then if we do the scaling of time, if you do the scaling of time, so like this, you do scaling in time, uh, T is the factor, right? So original, right, you, you have BS, right? Then you do some scaling in time, right? So you get a BST, right? For, uh, you know, this is a second, right? So now it's a, a minute, right? So like T, you take T as a 60, right? And 60, right? you change it, it's kind of change your units. So what uh, the conclusion says, if you change uh, the time, the use of time, uh, so it's, it looks like it helps, um, you, you multiply a scalar, and the scalar is just a t, the square root of t. Uh, it, it's not very hard to see, right? So it's as easy as the following observation, observation. So if you have a normal distribution and you multiply a scalar, so then you, you end with a normal distribution, but the variance change to st, right? The variance change to uh, squared, okay. So basically it's just this property and you can check, um, so if you scale in time, uh, this is, so it looks like you just uh, multiply the square root of t um, to the original Brown emotion. Right? It's called a scaling invariant. Uh, it's a scaling relation is not invariant, right? So translation is invariant. Um, for instance, right, for instance, right, if you want to compute, right, for instance, you want to compute, you want to compute the b and step n, right? You want to compute uh, this is uh, less than n, right? You want to compute this. Right, so what's that, right? So this is P uh, square root N, right? P square root N, B1 is less than N, right? So then the probability of B1 less than one square root N, right? So just an example. Uh, so, I mean, this is not just like that, right? So all the finite dimensional distribution can be scaled, can be scaled like, uh, like this, right? So not just the uh, distribution of one point, it's the, it's the, you can scale all the, all the paths, right? All the, all the brown emotion. Sometimes it's very useful, but basically this is just a change of variable formula. Uh, because for brown emotions, we know the, all the joint distribution. If you just uh, choose 
uh, finite slow finite times, right? Just uh, uh, just want to come finite dimensional distribution. Actually, we have the joint distribution function. Uh, so by scaling, we basically just do change of the work form. Uh, it's not a it's not a hard that is that's why there's uh, uh there's this comes out right there's this comes out okay so these are two big properties of brown motion so there's another uh, equivalent uh, definition of brown motion uh so uh, i don't want to talk a lot about that uh, but uh, you can check this. You can check this. Maybe I put a X size letter. Uh, X size. Okay. So, so the previous definition of Brown motion equivalent to the whole. Uh, we can just uh, say right it's T right this uh, this uh, process is Gaussian process. So Gaussian process. Uh, what does Gaussian process means right? Gaussian process means if you look at the finite time, uh, if you just uh, take a t zero one uh, t n, right? We just the, the joint distribution of those uh, finite times, right? So then uh, we get a random variable, right? We get a random variable. Uh, so e t n. So this is a random variable, right? We let's call this x. Uh, n plus one. So then this is a multi multi variant normal. This is multi D Gaussian, multi multi variant normal distribution. So and we call B T is a Gaussian process, right? Gaussian process is more general. It's more general than brown emotion, right? So Gaussian process is not necessarily brown emotion, right? Um, so to make it brown emotion, it should have some independence, right? And this uh, condition B prime gives you the independence. So why this gives you independence, right? So uh, so it's basically from the following computation, we just say in the opposite direction. If you have independence, right? Let's say if you have independence, right? For brown emotion, let's say you're starting from the previous definition. If you have uh, this is T, this is S, right? This is BT, this is BS. So the increment is this part. Uh, we can really show this. We can really show this uh, from our previous definition. So how to do that, right? So this is BT, right? BS, S is B, so BS can be right at BT and plus the increment, right? So then have this part and this part. For this part, right, just the variance, which is T, and uh, for this part, uh, it's uh, uh, independence, right, of the increment. Uh, so we can just uh, decouple, right? So then this is zero, independence, right? independence. Uh, we, we can put this in reverse direction. We can put this in reverse direction because uh, from this uh, A, from A prime, uh, everything is Gaussian. Right? So we have a uh, Gaussian when variables. So, and also have this property, right? It's kind of uncorrelated property. So we can get independent as well. So uh, I, yeah, I will put this as a uh, homework. So just to check, uh, just to check these two type of definitions agree with each other. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so the following discussion um, and looks uh, familiar to the construction of a Markov chain, right? Uh, but uh, since now we are working so the space, so the time, uh, so the space, of course, right, this is real valued. The time is from zero to right? it's not that uh, uh, easier. So there are several problems uh, there. I right? need to make it clear. Okay, so uh, 
So the basic idea to show the existence, I mean, of course it exists, right? Otherwise, uh, uh, it won't be then popular now, right? But notion is a basic object, right? For continuous type uh, stochastic process. Of course it exists, but uh, uh, since, uh, so how to say, right? How to prove to establish the existence, right? It is not real at all. Right? There, are, there, there are actually several several ways to show the existence. Uh, I follow the way uh, in the textbook, te in our textbook, right? Uh, it's not fully rigorous, right? So some some places is a little bit hand wavy. Uh, so I, I will give you, a, uh, maybe I'll give you an easier, easier reference. Not easy, maybe not that easy, right? But uh, maybe easier because it's an undergraduate uh, probability course. So you can search. Um, so there's a book uh, written by Evans. So from Berkeley. So he ha he has a book called uh, an Introduction. Uh, the Introduction to Statistic uh, Differential Equation. So he has this book. So there's a chapter called, uh, maybe chapter three, uh, talking about Brown emotions. So there, right, so, so he mainly talks our first uh, section, first, uh, the first section in, in this. Uh, so you can think uh, alternative way to construct. Uh, you can see a new way to uh, construction. This construction, uh, all based from like uh, random series. Okay. So can you still see the? Uh, can you see the see the screen? Um, no. Oh, now you can, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know why it stops. Um, okay, but now it's fine, right? Okay. So if you see that, uh, let me know. Okay. So you can look at a, a new uh, alternative introduction there uh, by random series. Uh, so what uh, the, the the way of construction the textbook is uh, I mean the so so it use it use a uh, chromatic extension theory but I'm sure right, most of you probably not very familiar with that even 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 me even I am not very familiar with that right so what the uh, strengths of that or what's the disadvantage of that I'm not very clear uh, but uh, let's just focus uh, still follow the the one in the textbook right. Uh, so you can you can think that you can just uh, use the fact, right? Uh, use the property of Brown motion. Most of the time, you don't need to show the existence. Or most of the time, we just uh, use that as the existing uh, real established uh, objects there. Right? But we and, and the first uh, step, right? Uh, and at least in the introduction course, we should uh, say a little bit about that. Okay, so. How do we do that? So first, uh, we starting from, right, so the idea, right, so of course, he here is to use a uh, uh, of extension theory. To use a uh, chromorph extension theory, right, so we need a sequence. We need a family, not just a sequence. We need a family of finite dimensional distributions, right? Need a finite dimensional distribution and need uh, this distribution be consistent. Uh, what does this mean, right? Consistent uh, uh, means what? Right? Uh, so let, uh, let us define one finite dimensional distribution first. Then I'll tell you what does uh, uh, consistent mean. Right? So let's start from X. Right? So X is the initial point. Right? Initial point initial port. So we're starting from X and we want to compute the probability 
right? And time T1 uh, is a process uh, with uh, A1, and, and time T2, the process visited A2, and time Tn, the, pro the process visited An. So is a so we write this uh, uh, distribution, but of course this distribution is in finite dimension. Uh, this is a probability mirror actually. This probability mirror is in finite dimension. This is a set which is in real uh, Rn. So each right with each AR real set in R. So uh, it makes perfect sense to define a uh, finite dimensional distribution mu uh, as the following. Right? So this is just kind of transition probability, transition probability. And this transition probability is given by the density function of the normal distribution. So, so we know, right, so from time uh, Tm minus one, Let's say if n time t m minus one, you are at x m minus one, and n time t m, you move, right? You move, let's move to x m. So what is the probability? So the probability is the following, right? So from here to here, right? Uh, so which is b t M, let's assume right the finite slice exists BTM minus BTM minus one. So this satisfies normal distribution, right, with the variance given by TM minus TM minus one, right? So that's why that's, just, that's exactly the transition probability, right? PTA, right? So T is a variance, right? T is a variance. And the probability right, is just given by density function. Right? Uh, then we integrate all possible uh, locations, right? So we integrate all possible locations. So this uh, really gives you a finite dimensional distribution. Okay. Uh, definition, right? this definition is exactly looks like uh, the finite dimensional distribution uh, in Markov chain, right? So it's just basically integrate all possible paths, right? All possible paths. But the here, right, is continuous type, right? The only difference is uh, here is continuous type, while Markov chain uh, is uh, not, right? It can be not. Okay, so what is consistency? So consistency says the following, right? So let's say, okay, we're starting from, uh, we're starting from uh, X, right? So the time slice uh, we choose, right, we choose. And also we can add new time, right? We can have new times. Uh, we can have uh, other points in time, right? So sometimes we can add a TN plus one, right? So then, so we should, we should have the following, right? So Tn plus one is necessarily here, right? It might be here. Uh, so Tj, Tj plus, it might have Tj tilde here, right? You have a new time slice here. So anyway, but let's just uh, consider this easy setting. So then for this uh, new sequence of time, right? for this new sequence of time, right? We just one more time slice. Oh, so T1, to Tn, Tn plus one, right? So then we have a probability mirror in n plus one, right? So this is a probability mirror in n plus one. Ah, n plus one, n plus one mentioned. Um, so the consistency means the following, A1 times A2 uh, times Ln, right? This is previous one. So if we have, we just put the whole space there for this variable, for this uh, variable, so then we should, uh, this probability mirror should agree with the previous one. This is called consistency. This is called consistency. Uh, I mean, we put T as one in the end, right, but uh, you can put in the middle, right? Uh, for instance, right, this is T1, T2, right? We can add a T3 here, right? 
We can also add the T3 here, right? T4 here, right? And uh, enter, right? So no matter where you add, right? Where you add. As far as in this, uh, this variable, right? So you go evaluate all the, the whole set, right? This is R. So then it agree with the previous one, right? So we put R here, right? So this really doesn't matter. And you kind of, um, Degenerate right to this uh, not degenerate right how to say that? I forgot the name so then you kind of recover um, the lower dimensional probability right so consistent basically means uh, so if you have a high dimensional probability and you have a lower dimensional probability the lower dimensional probability is the projection of high dimension okay so this is called consistency. Cohomograph theory basically says, right, if we have family, a consistent family of finite dimensional distribution, so then we can do extension. We can do extension. And this theory holds for a wide family of, uh, like, uh, so this state space, right, out here is R, uh, R to infinity, right, so those all works. So this works for the whole family of uh, states. Okay, I, I will just state the theory. I just state the theory. So it's the existence of wrong motion. Right? There are some uh, tricky part, uh, I will skip that. Okay, but uh, we should uh, make a theory. The element here. Okay, so omega zero, right, whole space. So in the end, we construct uh, the whole space, omega naught, and uh, uh, F naught, and on this uh, this uh, space, right? This is a mirable space. We construct a mirror new. Right? So this mirror new uh, depends on the initial point x. So x is an initial point. So the whole point right, is uh, we construct the probability triple. Okay. Uh, so here, right, omega z is the past space. So is the all past space. And F0, right, F0 is generating by the finite dimensional sets. So it's uh, generating by finite dimensional sets, AI. So each AI is a barrier. So then, right, by chromorph extension theory, uh, so we can find a unique probability mirror so new egg, right, which is a mirror part, right? This is a probability mirror. So probably we write like this way. Uh, so then uh, initially, right, because this is from X, right? So this, this probability mirror charge the initial state starting from X with whole, whole mirror, right? This makes sense, right? Uh, and, uh, and also, we project uh, this uh, probability mirror on the past space to a finite dimensional slice. slice. This is kind of finite dimensional slice. So I, so here I bigger than one, less than n. So if you project the x to a finite dimension, so we recover the previous uh, finite dimensional distribution return as the integral, right? Iterated, iterated the integral. Uh, that's all, right? That's all of the uh, probability part uh, for, for the existence part. Okay. But uh, there's one tricky part, right? There's one tricky part. So here we didn't discuss anything about the continue, continuity. Right. So here we discuss nothing about continuity, and uh, it's really a delicate question to uh, to discuss this continuity. Right. So why uh, the the problem is the following. Right. So so if you look at uh, size uh, 4.1.4. 4. So this theory, this theory does the following, right? So 
this theory basically told, told us the following. So this uh, uh, field F naught is generated is generated by a uh, finite dimensional distribution. And uh, you can show so so if A is between uh, is 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 a bit, if A is in F zero uh, or if A is mirable, is mirable events, right? It's events. So then so then so A so then A depends on uh, only counting coordinate. But if you look at the, this set C, so this set C is called, uh, we look at all the paths. So look at all the continuous paths. If you look at all the continuous paths, so this is uh, not mirable. So the previous discussion does not work well, right? Uh, so we cannot say anything about a continuity, right? Because this said, so this said C, right, is not mirable, right? You cannot say anything, right? You cannot say anything. Um, so we must uh, like uh, do some remedy, right? We must uh, do some correction. Uh, in textbook, um, the euro, right, so the euro way, right, so this is uh, all right. Um, the euro way to correct, correct this type of issue, or mirability issue, is to do the following, right? We first, uh, we first uh, establish um, like a continuous, we right? first uh, establish continuous on um, maybe not uh, for the whole space, right? Not for the whole part, which is continuous. But maybe right, we intersect some uh, uh, rational, right? We just look at the rational points. Uh, so then if we can show almost uh, surely, right? So the path, uh, if you just look at the path on rational points, if those paths are uniform continuous, we can extend, right, which is continuous. Uh, so we just can just uh, extend uh, we can just uh, take take omega which uh, which is a pass right which is a pass which is a continuous pass uh, which in q Then we can do like extension. We can just pass to it, so we can get a continuous pass. Uh, continuous on this. Uh, so this is the way to do the remedy, and uh, so I will show you a bit. So this uh, the 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 whole theme uh, to this uh, to make this work is the. It's, uh, it's called a uh, chromorph uh, continuity theory. Uh, not necessarily the, this name, but uh, uh, I will show you. Okay, how to do how to do a remedy? So now, right, let's consider right, let's consider uh, Q two. So Q two is all uh, is called all didactic uh, rationals, right? So what is uh, all didactic uh, rationals? So okay, so let's restrict our focus uh, from zero to zero one. Zero. Okay, so what is the dyadic rationals, right? It's just uh, defined as uh, m over two n, right? All m n are integers. Uh, integers, right? This is called dyadic rational. So it basically means right from zero one, right? So the zero one is there, right? So one half is there. So one, one over four is there, right? This is there, right? Just keep a dyadic composition, and all the uh, all the points, right, in the segment, right, uh, are are called dyadic rationals. 
and we can do the same thing. Uh, we can do the we can do the Komarov uh, extension theory, but we only restrict to the point t. So extension, but we restrict t in Q two. We can do this, right? And FQ is the mirror, right? It's the sigma field generating by finite dimensional uh, and finite dimensional probabilities, like probability mirrors. And omega Q, we should starting from the dyadic rational time. Right? This is a dyadic rational time. So we only look at the, so we don't look at the whole path, right? So this is the, this is a typical, Let's say original brown emotion, right? It probably right something like this, right? But now, right? So we look at some, we look at the uh, dyadic rational points, or so we only look at the past. So we discretize. Uh, we only look at the uh, real times. So we only look at the dyadic uh, rational time. Right, and this is easy to prove theories because now we look on something countable, right? Uh, but the extension theory is exactly the same. Uh, so we have finite dimensional distribution defined exactly as before, but uh, with only restriction on the time, right? All the time, all the time now is chosen as dyadic rational point. So we can use uh, Komarov extension theory again to construct a new X, and a new X uh, is everything, right, the initial uh, point starting from X with probability one, right? And it's, it's also extension theory, right? It's also extension. Uh, okay, but what we want to do here is to show this part for, we want to show the following, for almost surely omega uh, constructed above, so omega on this. So this is a probability mirror we constructed, right? Uh, but it's not, it, this is not uh, the previous one, right? It's not the previous one, so this is not. Uh, so this is the, 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 the space and also the secure generated by finite dimension space, and we extend to all the dyadic rationals. Okay, and we want to show the following: almost surely omega for almost the uh, trajectories, we want to show unique uniform. We want to show uniform continuity for a typical paths. Pass. But everything is in this probability triple. Everything is in this probability triple. Okay. So, how to do that, right? How to do that? So, this is a conclusion we want to know. And uh, this is really, really the corollary of, uh, uh, so this is really the of a very famous or powerful tool uh, without go, go uh, deals to come off. Uh, so yeah, I just uh, said the idea. Okay, so this is uh, this is come off theory. Okay. What does this theory says, right? So this theory says if you have moments bound, right? So this kind of moment, if you have moments bound, so then you can have regularity. So here, I mean, continue, uh, holder, right? So here is, uh, is really holder continuity. So I, I assume you know the definition of holder continuity, right? Holder continues. Right, for instance, here, right, so here, if this uh, constant is gamma, right, this uh, exponent is gamma, so we say x, right, we say for this trajectory omega, right, so if you fix a trajectory, right, you fix a trajectory, so then it's, uh, 
So this is time t, right? If you change time t, this is the function, right? This is the function. This is a function, right? This is time, this is time, right? We can say the function is continuous, uniform continuous, which is a holder continuous, right? So if you estimate uh, xq and xr like this, right? You can control the difference of xq, xr like this, and this. So then we saw we call it holder continuous with exponent gamma. We, we said this holder continuous uh, with exponent gamma. Okay, it's called holder continuous. So Kromov's theory says uh, it just says that, right? Uh, so there's another version of uh, Kromov theory. Uh, this this not looks exactly like this, but uh, they are basically the same, right? So there's another one says the following, right? You have same or estimate like here, right? If you take the difference, then take average, it's kind of a moment bound. And the moment bound, is, so moment type bound, right? So this is, and also if we have almost surely, right? So the pass, almost surely the pass is uh, continuous. Then we have the following, but without this restriction, without this restriction, Okay, uh, so here is Q2. I say this should be Q2, okay. Um, okay, so, but uh, it's really the same. So why is really the same, right? So if, if we know a priori those paths, those paths are almost surely continuous, and also we have this property, right? So this property holds true for any Dydecker uh, rational point that is true for other non-rational points, right? Because rational, dynamic, even rational are dense. So by continuity, we can uh, we can get into all, right? And this is the uh, this is the tool, right? This is uh, actually the most important uh, here, right? Most technical part here. Uh, so most uh, in most book, we probably just to go. To use this correctly. We will pull that in next class. Uh, okay, so if you assume uh, the Kromov uh, theory holds true, right, and we can just check the Brown motion, right, using, we can using the scaling, we can use in the property, right, to take the difference, right, take difference, and using scaling, right, so bt minus bs is just a t minus, right, and minus, you t minus out. Right. You can you can t minus t minus s right is just uh, t minus s times one. Right. You can scale in property and take this out and uh, get this is bounded. Uh, this is bounded. This is this is a universal constant, and there's t minus s right, because we take if you take out you have a square root t minus s and there's an exponent here. Right. So. So you get uh, you get uh, one half. You get one half. Okay. So anyway, this is very easy to establish uh, just by scaling, scaling property, scaling relation. Okay. So then you then we can use the Kromov theory, right? So beta we can choose beta is two m alpha is m minus one. So oh, in this, we can show, right, we can choose, uh, uh, we can take alpha over beta, which is one half as this, right? So you can show, right, as long as gamma is less than a, right, is less than one half, one half uh, this will be true, right? this will be true, so this will be true. So by this whole observation, simply just by scaling property, we can show uh, Brown emotion is one half holder. So it's not a strictly one half. It's, so for a, a x is less than a, let's say this x is gamma, then Brown emotion uh, typical trajectory, right? For typical trajectory of Brown emotion is one is less than one half holder. Yeah. Okay. So if we have this, if we, so this is what we already, right? So if we have this, uh, if we if we assume Kromov theory and we use this, right, we know uh, from the trajectory we 
constructed here, right, the trajectory we construct here, a holder. Right? Actually, if you just look at from zero to positive time t, or you can t is one, so it's uniform continuous, right? It's not just a uniform continuous, it's uniform holder. Uh, so we can do the extension. We can just take to the limit, right? Uh, we can just take the, to the limit uh, to non-dyadic uh, rationals, right? So this is the way to extend to all of your time. Right? Um, So, so that's, a, uh, that's basically the idea uh, of Kromovsky. Okay. Uh, I don't have enough time. Mm. Yeah, but, but uh, let's just say a little bit about this. The proof is, uh, okay. Uh, so the proof of Kromovsky, right, you see, right, so there are several pages here. So this is first, uh, this is the second, right? This is the lemma, this is the lemma. And uh, this is the proof of lemma as well. Uh, and this is the last part of the proof. Uh, uh, this is the proof on non-differentiability in motion. And uh, this is a uh, continue of uh, proof of uh, non-differentiability of motion. motion. Uh, then that's all. So the proof is not very hard, but but, uh, I'm sure uh, if you read that, it's uh, it's not a uh, not a uh, very friendly. Uh, it's not a not a very reader. Uh, so why? <laughs> uh, because it's just in all operations, right? And uh, if you don't do the continuity stuff for a while, you probably don't uh, uh, don't like that. But that's the work you need to do. Uh, okay. To do that, right? Uh, yeah, probably maybe let's say next time. Uh, but uh, I can tell you here so in the textbook uh, proof of lemma, right? So this lemma, I think it's wrong. It's uh, it's lemma. Uh, it's lemma five so in the proof, I guess it's wrong. Uh, so M, M there is not necessarily, so there it says uh, this is less than Q minus R textbook, uh, but this is wrong. Uh, I think this version, uh, he thanks uh, Rob Pimento and Spellman. Uh, so I think you're wrong. Uh, I mean, you can think, but uh, uh, the idea is right. And here, right, actually, for the from the new you can extend, uh, you can you can change this to two. You can change this to two, and the proof is not uh, very hard, uh, but uh, but you need to do that. Right, you need to do that. Uh, in the end, uh, we need to do the Borea Cantley as well, because er in the, anyway, so this is uh, almost a surely result, right? Uh, so we need to do, we need to apply Borea Cantley, and in the end, we can get the this uh, with probability one, right? We have the continuity result. Um, yeah. I think the idea, right, uh, is to, okay, right? Um, yeah, so if you, yeah, I cannot say the idea in word because uh, I just go through that, right? So I should go through it again to, 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 so then I can write this in a few sentences, but maybe you cannot say that in a few sentences. Uh, okay, yeah. So maybe, yeah, maybe we say this next time. Uh, uh, so I, I will skip this. I will skip this. Uh, definitely, I will talk about the Kromorov theory because this is important. This is, it has a name, right? it's a big name. Uh, I will skip this part. So I will skip uh, this part.
So for the non-differentiability on emotion, I will skip this. Um, uh, the proof actually is a very nice proof. Uh, this is a very nice proof. Uh, it's very easy, it's a very uh, elegant proof. Uh, it's uh, due to several, uh, three very smart guys. So one is uh, Eros, uh, Eros. Uh, so it's a very nice proof, but I will skip that. But uh, I will anyway, we will go through the proof of uh, the grammar uh, uh, on next, uh, Next class. Okay, so do you have questions? Okay, if no, you we can we can uh, we can stop now.